Guys, from the story, sass, sass, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, I had to do the cigar review really quickly because I had to send the cigar to uh, Eric, the Midnight Cigar, so that he can do the review. And today, we're doing the Viaje Godzilla, and um, it's actually Godzilla, but that's the pronunciation uh, in Japanese, Godzilla, and that's why it sounds like Godzilla, and. How it came about, I guess. They did a really cool job on this uh, double coffin because it has two cigars in there. And also, I'd like to welcome my special guest, Godzilla. So, yeah, let's take a quick look at the cigar. Okay, Viaje Godzilla comes in a package of individual coffin that has 13 count or a two stick coffin, a uh, 6x54 Toro. There is no blank information at the time of this recording. MSRP is roughly $11 and change uh, because they come in like double coffin or a whole box. Kind of have to do an average on that one. But according to those people who did the math, it's $11.77. Now, Viaje has done a good job on a lot of like packaging and stuff like that. Anything that's gimmicky, they did a pretty good job. And, you know, being Godzilla, I literally have to give it a try because I love Godzilla. My wife always say Godzilla is our neighbor. So let's get started. Okay, we're back. So you might wonder where Godzilla is while filming this. He's over there now. <laughs> Gotta get put it put in a little bit farther farther away so it's not tinted with too much smoke. Um, if anybody like knows I like to collect that kind of stuff. I really don't want to uh, damage it too much, uh, especially under the smoke condition. I think it's gonna go back to my office. I don't want it to be stink. Yes. Anyway, so let's get a real quick look and what we can do in this one. This one is, like I said, oh, it's a 6x54 Toro. Smell kind of like sour fermented. Almost a little bit ammonia. Okay. Let's get that going. Oh, really thick. Okay. Sour, sweet, salty. Bonyard. A little bit like graham cracker kind of taste for this particular cigar. You know, I'm tempted to buy a whole box of this, but like, if it's just for that small logo, there was no point. Like the whole, the big box only only have that Godzilla logo. Um, it doesn't have like a Godzilla's face on it. Or, or else I will have to go all over that. I will have bought one. I was like, I don't care how much it costs, give me that box. Believe it or not, when I was in Taiwan, I, I went through this shop that has all kind of new Godzilla stuff. Ended up not buying it because uh, it did not really fit my size. <laughs> I'm too large. I need to buy a 2X large just to fit, so unfortunately I couldn't wear it.
Ooh. When is the guy's rough? A little bit of hay, woodsy, a little bit of sourness, pepper. Some baking spice. Hmm. Some sort of sweet tone, not sweetness. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's a sweet tone, but not sweet. A lot of pepper. All right, let me smoke one third so that the pepper wear down, uh, and and then we'll go from there. I think it's also because it's not burning evenly. Let me touch up a little bit. Be right back. All right, so I was gonna wait for one third, but like. It was not like I, I tried to relight it and it didn't it correct and then the next puff it's not not correct again. I was like, it would be unlike me if I didn't find something crazy with the Ahe cigar, right? So I did. Yep. Draw opened up, so I guess I can really tell the notes now. We are back. Alright, so I've been very diligently and trying very hard to smoke through this plug cigar um, and get some flavor out of it. And you guys already saw I get the Excalibur out of it. And it's still kind of a weird overdraw. I don't know what's wrong with it. So I'm trying my best to 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 smoke it. So and it's definitely not too wet because it's been out for a while. And I don't know. So Let's talk about flavor, right? The flavor, I want to say is trying to be, okay? It's peppery. And it's got a hint of cedar, hint of that sweetness, a little bit of, I would say cocoa, and a little bit of fading grain cracker. That's what I got. It, it's actually, and, and the, 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 the string, I don't know if it's because the, the draw or whatnot, it's roughly a medium, something like that. Medium, medium plus. But I think that has something to do with the draw. It's taking me a lot of draw to get it. And it's got a little bit of licorice on the nose as well. And that's what I got so far. Maybe a little bit nutmeg as well. Maybe. It's like so weird of a, of a mixture they all answer with a little bit of like ammonia hints kind of thing going on as a finish so i i don't prefer that but yeah it's only first third we'll see where that goes i probably had to touch out a few more times and maybe that'll ease up maybe maybe i'll get a draw tool just to see if there's anything that's plugged inside still and and go from there but that's first third so nothing crazy flavor uh nothing like oh my god this this is a great cigar but only the first third right so i'll be right back all right second third now second third got a little bit better but like then this this cigar tastes like almost like a full cigar full strength cigar it's weird but yeah now i get cedar uh sweetness cocoa uh, a little bit nuttiness a little bit creaminess Pepper is pretty much gone. I'm not getting any more pepper, so. Pretty much gone. Yeah. So what I got right now for the second third. Second third is uh, definitely more enjoyable. And then obviously the cigar starts to open up a little bit. So I can actually get more better draw. But overall experience isn't that pleasant, I guess. Because it, it feels heavy. And then I'm not getting a lot of flavor out of it. You know, for, for Godzilla, at least. Kind of disappointing uh right now but 
It's not very expensive either, if you think about it. Yeah. Should we even look at the band and stuff? Let's look at the box. I love this box, okay? Now, the, the, the thing about the box is that, okay, only this part that says we are here in the bottom. But the size is Godzilla, Godzilla, and Godzilla. You know, I, I like this uh, two double cigar um, box that they did. You know, not only you get to keep the box and have two sticks to smoke, which is kind of good. Like you smoke one, get one to keep or... Uh, you need to revisit. It's good. I mean, for me, it's perfect because I got to send one to Eric. Um, but I like this design. This design got me like right away. I was like, oh, I want it. The, th the problem with that, the full box, the big box, only have one of these logo on it. And that was it. And, and like, you know, if you put like a shadow weave shade of a Gaz Godzilla, I will have bought a full box. But right now, I'm kind of glad I didn't buy a full box because the, the, the draw issue and the flavor and stuff like that. I don't even know if I want to spend another uh, money again to to buy this cigar just to collect. You know, uh, I will be disappointed. I think I with me spending the money. So, you know, I do want it, but is it worth it? Probably not. Probably not. All right. And then the band. Ooh, ah, it's one of those paper band again. Uh. No, it's not like not all the paper bands are paper band, but like, yeah, I don't like it when the glue is like not easy to pick up. Okay, so yeah, you just get the Godzilla right there. Now, I, I think it's pretty cool. I feel like if it was me, I would have did a slightly different. I don't know if uh, it's specific copyright issue or whatnot. I, I feel like you could do more. I feel like you can do more and really get the Godzilla. Godzilla's um, fan to to act on it, even if they don't smoke. So, yeah, it's clean, but it's missing element that will really drive a person to go buy, right? Like you know, if if I was doing it for people to collect, I would have gone out. But again, I understand this you know price issue and all that stuff. But if you got to print it anyway. It doesn't hurt to print a shade of Godzilla's face on it. It's not that much more, right? I think the box is fine. The, the the design is fine. It's just missing stuff. It's missing stuff. Okay. So yeah. Now we have the last third. We'll be right back. All right. So I'm done. Um, Basically, last third is actually a more balanced version of it. It's more wood, chocolate, and sweetness. Wood, chocolate, and sweetness. That's what I got. And, and it's more balanced, more smooth, easier to smoke. But I wish the whole entire cigar was like that, not like Laster. Because you already got through, like, you know, you got to work your way through to, to get that little bit of Laster of that, I don't know, sweet goodness, if you want to call that. It's not preferred that you had to, that o over the whole hour, 15, you only get maybe 20 minutes of enjoyment in terms of that sweetness to be really smooth and woodiness and 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 then cocoa kind of like kind of work work together right like the second third you can taste it but they don't really work together and the last third they they kind of work together maybe you have to let this sit much longer so all the flavor will kind of work with each other but in the first third it's it tastes like it's not ready second third it tastes like oh it's getting there and last third you finally get something right so not the very best of enjoyment i will say for me because the box will take a big part of it because you buy this you because you want to collect this um with that being consideration about a50 a50 is what i think it is like you know if that a50 i'll probably buy a whole box but not a50 11 something so you know you just gotta you gotta decide for yourself i think it's great that they came out with this so that you can just collect just this and put in your Godzilla collection. Other than that, mm, I don't know. I mean, I think that they should have put Godzilla here. They put Godzilla, so it's, uh, I don't know. Copyright issue? I don't know. I don't know. It's correct pronunciation for sure. But I don't know if there's something to do with the background on, on that. I, I would prefer it says Godzilla. Godzilla, I can still get it. You know, it's all good. It's fine. All right? So A50, that's the final uh value that I think's for me. Right? Not saying that it's not worth eleven something if you want to collect it. 
850 is an enjoyment I got out of it. It is a big cigar. Uh, you, you do have to like smoke a big cigar to, to really enjoy this. For me, a little bit too long. Uh, even though I said hour 15 and whatever, you know, some people might take hour 20, hour 30. Depends on the person we're smoking, okay? So yeah, that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out subscription, membership. Check out our podcast, uh, it's weekly. And check out our uh, swag, if you like t shirt and stuff like that. If you want to support the channel, we also have Patreon. Yeah, I always forgot to say it, but like, you know, it's our only Patreon, not a big deal, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.